Catherine. I'm Brenton. And we are here to talk about community and gathering and small group. We lead a small group that began after the January 21 days of prayer and fasting and was designed to be a start-finish group to finish before Easter. But then what happened? Well, when COVID hit and lockdown happened, we decided we need to keep meeting with these people. So we meet every week on Zoom, we read the Bible, we pray together, we have communion together, and we've decided we really want to keep meeting. What do you like about the group? Oh, lots and lots of things I like about the group. I like that I get to have an expression of church every week, you know, wherever I am and wherever everyone else is. And like Jodie and Stuart were talking about on Sunday, I love having people who are cheering me, cheering us on, mm. and who are challenging me in, mm. that sounds confrontational, it's not. <laughs> like encouragingly challenging me. Sure. Yeah. And what surprised you? There's been, more often than you'd think was necessary, a sense of God's spirit in the room. Mm. Like a weird sense of his spirit doing something in my room, but then I can see on the screen he's doing the same thing in eight other people's lives mm. at that moment as we pray together or as we're yeah. reading the Bible together. Yeah. What about you? That's certainly been one of my significant moments. It's also been, I think, really good to be open and honest with each other. And as we read the Bible, being really honest about our own struggles with doing what we hear the Bible saying um, and learning to read the Bible as us, as community. Mm -hmm. Like one of our members said, what if speaking the truth in love was talking about us speaking truthfully about ourselves in a community of love? Yeah. It's not just pointing out the errors in others, but we can be honest about ourselves. So I think that's been really helpful. Yeah, and I think when we think about challenge, that's part of what it is, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That there's speaking the truth about ourselves in the context of safe community and in the presence of God is it yeah it's an extraordinary thing yeah. I think one of the other things I like is when we do a challenge together or a whop on what would happen if and like recently with Hannah we talked about what would it be like if we asked God's given me something like Samuel was given to Hannah, but I need to dedicate it back to God. And we thought about that together during mm. the week, and that was a really fruitful way of considering what God was asking of us. Thank you. Thank you for telling me about your group. <laughs> and you, me.